Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Hundreds more hotel workers going on strike in Boston. Nearly 700 at the Omni Parker House and Omni Boston Seaport Hotels will hit the picket line this morning. They're joining some 600 other hotel employees already on strike in the city. The workers include bellhops, cooks, room attendants who have been pushing for higher wages, more staffing and better workplace conditions. Mass General Brigham has begun postponing some elective surgeries. There's a shortage of IV fluids because of Hurricane Helene. This is going to last at least through Wednesday as hospitals try to conserve their limited supplies of that fluid. This is a nationwide shortage that was triggered when Helene damaged a manufacturing plant in North Carolina, which is a key supplier of those IV fluids. Well, Vice Presidential Candidate Tim Walz coming back to Boston. The Democrat will be attending a campaign event here this Sunday. Location and time of the event has not yet been announced. Time now for a check of your next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Jason Mike. Oh, a lot of participants going to need the rain gear today, Chris, as we're talking about a wet and also a really crummy start to the work week here on our people's indigenous, or at least indigenous people's day here on this Monday. As we start to look at our map here, we're wrapping around a very, very large area of low pressure systems, which is causing a lot of the wet weather to move right into southern New England. Cloudy skies are going to be sort of dealing with or sort of at least cascading across the area later on today after some morning thunderstorms out towards the Cape and the Islands. The Merrimack Valley is also going to be drying out as well. As we look towards the next 24 to 36 hours, yes, we'll have some partial clearing in the early afternoon with another resurgence of some pop up showers likely moving through the region between 5 and 7 p.m. After that, winds are likely going to be dialing up, temperatures are going to be dropping, and skies are going to be clearing. So we'll allow temperatures to fall tomorrow, likely hitting cruise control in terms of afternoon highs, likely remaining anywhere between the mid to low 50s for the next couple of days and mid to upper 50s by Thursday and Friday. As we start to see a warm up in the afternoon, chilly overnights. We're likely going to have near freezing temperatures Thursday morning and Friday morning. And as we bump things back up around 40 degrees or so for Saturday morning and Sunday morning in the afternoon, though, nice and balmy around 70 degrees both days. Wow. All right, Jason. Thanks. This has been a WBC News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.